OpenAI released the new generation of their embedding models. So far their most popular model was text embedding ADA002. In this video we'll have a look at some facts and numbers of the new models and also analyze the new models directly with code. The link to the code is in the description. But first, let's start with the definition of embeddings. Embeddings are numerical representations of texts converted to numerical sequences, which make it easy for computers to understand the relationship between those texts. They are especially useful to find similar texts to retrieve information from so-called vector databases, which are an essential part of so-called retrieval augmented generation. We now have two new embedding models from OpenAI, Text Embedding 3 Small and Text Embedding 3 Large. These models offer a significant improvement based on multiple performance benchmarks, especially the Miracle benchmark, which is a multilingual benchmark, is quite impressive. So what is different to ADA002 and what is the same? So when we have a look at the maximum input tokens and the knowledge cutoff, we can see that these don't differ. In my opinion, for the input tokens, this is totally fine, since if you embed text with different topics, the embeddings actually anyway make no sense. For the knowledge cutoff, I think a more recent cutoff would be fine, but it's not as important as for an LLM to have the latest information in the model. Now let's have a look at the pricing. As you can see, the text embedding three small model allows to embed 62,500 pages for a single dollar. I think that's very, very cheap. In general, I think the OpenAI embedding models were cheap anyway, but it's only 25% of the price of the text embedding ADA002. And even the large model is only around 25% uh, more expensive than ADA002. So I think that's a totally fine price. So no high surcharges or anything like with GPT-4. So what's new in contrast to ADA002 is that the output vectors of ADA002 had a fixed size of 1536 dimensions, whereas the generation 3 models have different sizes. The vectors of the large model can have between 256 and 3072 dimensions. Smaller vectors mean a performance boost for retrieval or search, but of course loss of information and therefore a worse performance for retrieval. But still, the new model outperforms ADA002 even with a size of 256 dimensions. So that's what OpenAI says. Since the marketing video of Gemini, we don't want to believe in those companies, do we? So let's have a look at the new models on our own. Okay, I'm now in VS Code and before we start with the code, I will first show you my text files. So in data1.txt, we've got a fictional bank which offers loans and anything else a bank does. So some information about this company. And then we've got data2.txt. This is a fictional restaurant which offers traditional Italian food. So very different topics. And we want to represent these as vectors. But before we do this, we have to install some packages. We have to install langchain minus openai. Then we have to install the normal langchain package. We have to install chromadb matplotlib to visualize the embeddings and also python-env to load our API key in an environment variable. Okay, so first let's load our environment variable from the .env file. There you have to put in your OpenAI API key and then we want to load the files. We use a directory loader which uses a loader class, which is text loader. And this will load all of the text files we've got. So these are two text files and load these into memory. So if you have a look at the length, we can see that we've got two documents. And the normal way to embed documents is not to embed the whole document, but to uh, embed chunks of the document. So we split this document with a chunk size of 100 characters. We also provide a chunk overlap of 10. And then we, we've got more documents than before. So this is how it looks like. This is the document class from LangChain and this has got a page content attribute and also some metadata. We are only interested to embed the page content. So for this, we extract the page content of the documents and now we've got a list of, of strings. So this is one document now and this is what we want to embed. So Elwood Banking and Trust is firmly established and so on and so on. This is one text which will be represented as one large vector. So now we've got our documents and what we first want to check is the performance of the embedding model. So we create 
with the OpenAI embeddings class, we create instances of that and we pass in the model as parameter here. So the first instance is the text embedding three large, then we've got the three small, and then we've got ADA002. So we've got two uh, models and we want to check how good they perform. So let's run this code of over all of our documents. And this will now print the time it takes. So as you can see, the large model takes significantly more time to embed the documents than the smaller model and the other 002 model. So these are almost on par. The smaller model is even a bit um, faster, but yeah, I think the difference is the difference is very minor, so it doesn't really matter. But keep in mind, if you want to lose the large model, this takes more time to embed your documents. So by the way, you can totally ignore that warning model not found. This is because Langchain did not update their code base yet. So every model has got its own encoder and this encoder, which is used as the default encoder is totally fine for this embedding model. Okay, so now let's move on. And what we want to do now is we want to create a new query. Do you offer vegetarian food? So this is related to our fictional restaurant and should normally be quite different from the data1.txt, which is about this bank. So now let's embed this query with the large model, with the small model and the old other model. And now I want to print the length of the embeddings. So for the large model, we've got a vector of 3072 dimensions and for the small model and the other 002, we've got 1536. Keep that in mind, this will be important later when we work with the ChromaDB. Okay, so now we've got the vector representation of do you offer vegetarian food three times. So for the large model, the small model and the other model. And we want to check how similar this vector representation is in comparison to all the other vectors we embedded here from our text files, data1.txt and data2.txt. So this is saved in vectors large, vector small, and vectors other. So to do this, we will run a cosine similarity over these embeddings and calculate how similar these documents are. So to do this, I forgot one library, which is scikit-learn. So we install it like this, scikit-learn. Important to not pip install sklearn, this is a different library. And now we can calculate it. So let's execute the code. This may take some time. Oh, actually it's pretty fast, three seconds. And now we want to plot these similarities. So we will make a plot with pipe, um, matplotlib and there we plot these similarities side by side. So for each model. So if we have a look at these graphics, we can see that in general, the new models have got, yeah, lower scores in similarity than the other model, which ranges between uh, 0 0.7 and 0 0.8. So here we've got 0 0.05 up to 0 0.5. If you have a closer look, you can see two clusters on the left, one where the bars are quite low and another cluster where the bars are much higher. For the chart in the middle, it looks similar, but the differences are not as big as for the large model. And I think these are great results because it indicates that the new embeddings are much more selective than the ADA002 model, where practically no cluster can be detected and the peaks are also not really standing out. Okay, so now instead of only analyzing the embeddings, we want to do actual retrieval. So we use the Chroma Vector Store to do this. First, we're gonna create a new instance of OpenAI embeddings with dimensions 1536 because Chroma does not support more dimensions. So the large model will fail with its default size. We've got this little helper function here where we run the class method from documents, we pass in the docs, and here we pass in the embedding model. So we run this function three times, pass in the embedding model large, small, and the other model. So we could convert the vector store in a retriever and run the get relevant documents uh, method. We pass in the query and we retrieve the top six documents from that vector store. So let's run this for all of our models and see what documents we retrieve. 
So let's run it for the large model, for the small model, and for the other model. So if you've got a small look at the results, we can see that here we've got some meat-based stuff, and here we've got a document which has to do something with vegetarian and vegan options. But to be honest, I find it quite interesting that it's this document is below the second document. So it provides personalized service, I think, that has nothing really to do with vegan options. And I think this should be ranked higher. So let's have a look at how the other models do that. So here we can see that the vegetarian and vegan options are on top. And this is what I expected. So below that we've got eggplants and mushroom. This is also related to vegan and vegetarian options. Then we've got meat-based and yeah, this is not really about uh, vegan stuff. Regional specialties is also fine, but yeah. And now we've got this specialized service. I think we've only got three documents which are actually about vegetarian food and these three are on top. And I think that's a very, very good result for the large embedding model. For the smaller model, the results look pretty similar. I think they're actually exactly the same. So yeah, I don't see any difference between the large model and the small model, but there's quite a difference between the new models and the old other model. So I think personally, of course, there's a very small sample size that this new embedding models could actually be a real game changer in rec applications. But of course, this is only a first impression. So further investigation has to be done. So what do you think of the new models? So let me know that in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.